Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this channel, we are going to learn about Terraform import command. We'll see how do we use import command to import your existing infrastructure or use the import command to adjust your infrastructure which is managed by the Terraform but you might have done some enhancement changes manually on your infrastructure so you would like to you know sync your Terraform state file using the import command. Hi my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Be Learner. To start our discussion I have the Azure storage account resource created in my Azure subscription. So this is the storage account I'm talking about. This storage account I have created manually. Now I would like to import this storage account into my Terraform code. So, so let's see how do we do that. So this is the Visual Studio code I have wherein we are going to import our existing storage account. To import any resource into your Terraform code, you can find the import command on the actual resource documentation in the Terraform. So if you go to the Terraform website, search for let's say Terraform storage account and then you will find the resource because we would like to import our storage account resource hence I am finding it this resource type and if you scroll it down at the bottom you will find this storage account storage command you can copy this command open it in a notepad and then here you can see that we have the import command let me make it bigger Terraform import the name of the resource and then instance name and then fully qualified resource ID. So you can find the resource ID in the Azure portal. Either you can construct it manually or in the most of the cases you will find the resources resource detail here in the portal itself. So I can go to the endpoints here in this case or maybe in the some other resource type you can find it under the properties. So you can see that we have the storage account resource ID. Copy this resource ID and replace it here with this particular ID. This is what my import command is ready now. So next thing I need to do is I need to create this line of code in my Terraform code. Go to the Visual Studio code, create a resource block and here I'll paste this text, make it double code and then next I will make it double code this as well so that it looks like empty resource block which is of type storage account and now make sure you have opened the terminal here at the same place and we are good to go and run the command before we run the command we need to run terraform initialize so that it initialize the azure rm provider or whichever provider you would like to import the resource from so first thing run the initialize command Initialization is completed. Let me clear this. Next, we are ready to run the Terraform import command. We are running Terraform import and then the Azure storage account and then its instance name. So make sure this and this matches with this thing and then the resource ID of your resource which you are trying to import. Once you run this command, it will take some time and import the resource into the state file. Currently, I am running the Terraform command on my local state file. That's why it has created a new state file and imported the resource or importing the resource. Whereas if you are using the remote backend state file, then it will also work and update this state file at the remote location. See, you can see that we have the state file created and we have got the message. The resource is successfully imported. And if I open this state file, you can see that I have got the storage account properties, which is already imported, the name, instance name basically, whereas if you look at the storage account name, which is this one, and we have got all the properties. So now, obviously, if you run Terraform plan, it won't work. The reason for that is because you have the empty resource block and it is not allowed. Let's check that. That's what I mean. So this is what the expected error we have because you do not allow to create an empty resource block while you run Terraform plan or apply command. So 
Obviously, we have the all the listed property available in the list state file, but we would like to, you know, make it available in our resource block. So what you can do is you can run the Terraform show command that will convert your state file JSON JSON into a SCL format, and then you can copy the SCL format and then paste it into the story account. So if, for example, in this case, I can entirely copy this and then paste it like this i can replace it so this is what my storage account look like some of the sensitive values which i may want to remove so i'm not going to pass all these values so i'll be removing this you can remove this as well or if, if you want you can leave it as is so this is how your storage account resource which you have easily converted within just a couple of minutes and now if i run terraform plan that should work fine Oh, it seems like we have removed the storage account resource group name. So let's see where is the storage account resource group name. That's it. This is the name of the storage account resource group. So now if I run the Terraform plan, that should show me that there are no changes. Which proves that your storage account is successfully imported. And here you go. So we have got the story account imported successfully. And this is what the changes we are getting right now. It says allow this particular block is showing this changes only because we have removed that particular property and default value is false. And that's why it is showing that changes. So if you want, you can include this property. Otherwise you can ignore that as well. So I can make it true. Okay, so this was the example number one. What if you have provision or your cloud resources with the Terraform modules? So how do you run the Terraform import command to import the resource which are provisioned through the module? So for example, uh, in this case, so for example, I have the my main Terraform block, which is basically calling the storage account module in this case. And with the Terraform module block, I'm trying to create a Terraform storage account. And to create a storage account, basically I'm calling this story account module. And now I would like to import the resource with the Terraform module, basically. So how do I do that? Simply, I need to use the same command, Terraform import, but instead of, let me copy this here so that it would be easy for us to modify the changes. So what do we do here is we'll make Terraform, Terraform import and after that we need to use module dot name of the module which is storage account and then dot the name of the resource block which is storage account type and next we need to see what is the instance name we have given in our module. So if I go to the story account, this is what the instance name I have given. So I'll copy that and add it here. So this is what my Terraform story account import command looks like in case of importing a resource from a module. Now if I run this, so let me run this now. Make sure again, make sure you have the Terraform initialization command run, which I have already done. So if I run the Terraform module import hopefully it should run the command okay need to initialize sorry the module now let's run the import command again and here you go you have successfully imported a story account resource within a module so now if i run if you look at our module code so we are passing the values to the module and here is our variable block and the values we are passing from here right so let's run the terraform plan just to see how the plan looks like even after importing our 
storage account resource. Here you go. So we have successfully imported our storage account into the module. Just for your information, there are some resources which uh, I'm talking about the Azure resources which are still which we are still not able to use the import command even though the documentation says that it, you would be able to run for example i'm talking about mysql server so in my experience we have created a sql server we made some changes manually and when i was trying to run the sql server import command i tried it but it didn't work let me know if it works for you or if you have a code which basically import successfully imports the mysql command but it didn't work in my case and interested to know if it works for you i hope this is fine so we've seen how do we import the resource to the terraform resource block and we have also seen how do we import our existing infrastructure resource into terraform module block i hope this is helpful if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see you in the next video